Hi, I'm Mary Clint Daniel, and today we're working with short hair, unleashing the versatility of your short hair. Today, with Haley, our young model, we're going to be working on a close cropped Audrey Hepburn style sophisticated do. So, we've already prepped Haley's hair with a moisturizing, color enhancing shampoo and conditioner, and we're going to go ahead in with a styling cream that has very little hold but a lot of shine. It's really important with short hair to keep your color shiny. Nothing too high contrast. Work the shine of your short hair. It really shows off the texture. So working that cream in from roots to ends all the way through her hair. All right, so we're going to go ahead and blow dry Haley's hair. And I am using my blow dryer on high heat and high air. And it's really important that you have a nozzle attachment to your blow dryer. The nozzle directs the airflow and makes it both more powerful and more controlled. So I'm following the natural head shape of Haley, over directing the hair forward onto her face. The easiest way to do this is to keep the blow dryer on the hand to the side you're working on and just lean into it. I'm disregarding which side Haley's going to part her hair on and we're just working both sides equally. Take extra care to pull the hair out around the ears. That's going to give you a little bit of extra fullness in through the sides. Hair tends to get caught up on the, around the ears and get a little bit too peaky. You only want to keep your blow dry, dryer on high heat and high air when you're moving pretty quickly through the hair. If you find yourself lingering in one spot too long, go ahead and take it down to more like a medium and it will protect the condition of your hair. Now I'm working across the opposite side of where Haley naturally parts her hair. She's got a little bit of a cowlick in the front and by pushing the hair down and across her forehead, opposite of where her cowlick is lying, we'll get a much more consistent finish. And now that she's very nearly dry, I'm going to go ahead and let it start settling into her part line. Now Haley has hair that's a little bit dehydrated and it's extremely thick. So a challenge she often has is that her hair gets a little bit fluffy looking, so her inclination is to use more product. What you can do instead is as you get to the point where you're about 75% dry, Go ahead and use a comb instead of a round brush and follow the head shape forward with your comb. So again, you're going to have the hair, the blow dryer and the hand of the side you're working on and just follow the comb with the air. That's going to collapse the shape for us and put a lot more shine in without too much bend. And now as I'm working her part in there, I am taking a very deep side part when you begin working on the, the side that you usually part your hair on, if you over direct further than you're going to part it, when you lay your part in, you'll have a lot more volume on both sides. Again, just for a more consistent feel. Many people have a little bit of extra curl and texture at the nape of the neck. It can be a hard thing to manage for yourself. So an easy way to combat that is to reach up and drag your hair forward and run behind it with the blow dryer. So you're going to bring that hair at the nape forward almost towards your ears and that will help pull out any extra curl or unwanted texture you may have. If your haircut isn't quite this short, you can still use this technique and then at the very last moment sweep your longer fringe over to the side. Haley's just about 100% dry. I'm going to go ahead and slip, slip my blow dryer down to medium heat and medium power. All right, and she is all dry. And I'm going to use two, two products to finish Haley. Our first product is a cream shine pomade. It doesn't have a lot of stick to it, and it has almost a pearlescent finish. You don't want anything that has too oily, that has the consistency more like a jelly. You want something that's just going to move through the hair without making it too sticky. By the same token, anything that has more of a matte white texture will just take away all the shine that you've just created. So starting in the back, I'm working that shine all the way through Haley's hair from roots to ends. Again, continuing our forward motion. 
and I'm working it in 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 amounts that are about the size of a half a pea, just a little bit. If you can see the product on your hands, you've got too much. Work it in in small batches, and it'll help keep from any gumminess or lack of control. So once I've worked that through all of Haley's hair, that's what's really going to take down our frizz and make sure we don't have any flyaways. I'm moving on to a high intensity shine products. So this is going to give us extreme luminescence, but almost no hold. Very, very shiny, very soft. But again, nothing too oily with too much silicone or greasiness. By the end of the day, a product that has that kind of a texture is just going to make it look like you need to wash your hair. So then, very softly, just using my own aesthetic of what. I want to see on her face shape. I'm just gently taking it down with the tips of my fingers. How much lift you leave the crop with is really up to you and what you're looking for. Go with what your hair wants to do. It's really important with short hair that you have the versatility to work the shape in whatever hair, whatever direction your hair wants to go in that day. Keeping the lines of your cut a little more pointed, a little bit more feminine, only increase that versatility. So as you can see, Haley still has quite a few flyaways around her hairline, and I'd really like for her to be working an extremely sleek shape around her face. So what I'm going to do with a little bit of hairspray on my comb. Now this is a light hold hairspray, nothing too sticky. Come forward towards me, dear. I'm just going to smooth down those flyaways with the edge of my comb. So that completes our modern Audrey Hepburn sleek crop. Coming up next, we're going to unleash the texture in Haley's hair and take her from daytime to nighttime. To watch the other segments in this video series, or for how-to videos on almost.